and good Thursday morning. I'm Ashley Cunha with your Concho Valley This Morning update. An accident late Tuesday night on Knickerbocker Road claimed three lives. Police are saying alcohol and speed factored into the crash. 23-year-old San Angelo resident Aaron Boatwright was driving south on Knickerbocker with three passengers when he lost control and left the road. He went through the Pack Saddle Barbecue restaurant parking lot, hitting a street light. His vehicle then flipped several times before stopping. Boatwright was pronounced dead at the scene. 18-year-old Adolfo Therese and 21-year-old Brianna Lucas both died as a result of the crash when they were ejected from the vehicle. In the name of the driver killed in an accident on Highway 67 Tuesday morning has been released by Texas D DPS. 32-year-old Matthew Werkheiser from Mertzen crashed into the back of an 18-wheeler tanker truck, both driving east towards San Angelo. This marked the second death in that same area on Highway 67 in less than two weeks. State troopers caution that drivers need to be aware of the road and the cars around them and need to be ready to react to drivers making sudden stops or turning in front of them, particularly in construction zones. And third graders at Glenmore Elementary School in San Angelo are learning how to grow their own vegetables and use them in healthy meals all through a special program. The Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Office has created Learn, Grow, Eat and Go, a 12-week program aimed at teaching students the importance of fresh fruits and vegetables. Not only are they learning about gardening, but also nutrition and exercise as well. The fresh produce is grown in their school courtyard. The students say that the most rewarding part is watching the food grow. Now let's see what's happening in weather, though, with Taban Sharifi. Taban, it's a chilly start today again, but what's the rest of the day look like? Luckily, we'll see a little bit more of a warm-up today compared to yesterday, even though, again, we're seeing those temperatures in the 20s and 30s for the morning. We'll see an afternoon high of 68 degrees, plenty of sunshine, southwesterly winds to 10 miles per hour, but it is going to get chilly again as we head into the evening and the overnight hours with a low tonight of 35 degrees, though we'll stay a couple of degrees above freezing, southwesterly winds to 10 miles per hour, and even more of a bit of a warm-up as we head into tomorrow, 70 degrees, with sunny skies.